It's almost hard to imagine that in less than three decades, Henry Ford produced over 20 million vehicles. He literally put the world on wheels when you think about it. But how did he get there? Well, let's take a quick look. The quadricycle that you see Henry Ford riding in is actually the first vehicle that he created, and he actually created it in his home before starting the Ford Motor Company. Now, the Ford Motor Company was actually started as his third company, this one being on Mack Street, and a few vehicles were produced there. But it was the Paquette plant that you see here where production really started to begin. And models A, B, C, F, K, N, R, and S were all built at this plant before the famous Model T that you see here. And this started in 1908. And prior to that, Henry Ford only sold a few thousand vehicles a year because all of them were hand-built, and the Model T was no exception. Henry Ford, however, realized that by hand-building cars, he was not going to be efficient. Now, Olds already had invented an assembly line, and Henry Ford wanted to master the assembly line process, and so what he ended up doing was getting together with his engineers and discussing ways that they could take an assembly line and really master it and start producing automobiles literally by the millions. And so with Henry Ford and his uh, team of engineers, they decided that they were going to really master an assembly line, and they came up with some ideas. They eventually created the assembly line that was going to go into their new plant, and that is how the Model T started to becoming the mass-produced automobile that we see that Henry Ford had created. Henry Ford was a visionary, and he was a forward thinker. And the reality is that even in 1908, during the early stages of the Model T, Ford was already looking forward to building a much bigger and larger facility so that the moving assembly line could be housed in, along with manufacturing even more of the parts rather than outsourcing all of those parts and creating its own foundry and everything else. And so the Highland Park Ford plant was going to be the big boy on the block, if you will. And so in 1908, when they were considering building this plant, two years later, Everything from Paquette was going to move into the Highland Park Ford plant. Now, this is where the moving assembly line takes place. And it was so efficient by that time that just under 800 minutes to produce a Model T, Ford was cranking out a Model T every 98 minutes. Now, Ford had said that the Model T was going to be the car that put the world on wheels, and it was. Henry Ford said of the vehicle, and I quote, I will build a motor car for the great multitude. It will be large enough for the family, but small enough for the individual to run and care for it. It will be constructed of the best materials by the best men to be hired after the simplest designs that modern engineering can devise. But it will be so low in price that no man making a good salary will be unable to own one and enjoy with his family 
the blessing of hours of pleasures in God's great open spaces, end quote. Here we see Henry Ford with his son Edsel inspecting the 10 millionth Ford, which is a Model T, and notice that the quadricycle is right next to it. Now, Henry Ford is not foolish at all. He was an individual that knew how to motivate people through the power of the press. And so taking this car to multiple cities and taking the car through parades and obviously visiting dignitaries, uh, local dignitaries and local mayors and governors, this car was getting publicity and so was Henry Ford. And he was truly putting the world on wheels at this juncture. By the time the last Model T was produced on May 26, 1927, for all practical purposes, the vehicle was obsolete. It was fastly surpassed by more powerful, more comfortable competitors and their vehicles. However, nothing has equaled its impact. The 1927 Ford Model T was the 15th millionth car that Ford produced. It traveled around and got that same type of parade and enthusiasm as Ford shut down his plant to secretly retool for a new upcoming vehicle. And that vehicle was going to be the Model A. Edsel Ford created an absolutely beautiful automobile in the Model A. While Henry Ford was in charge of engineering, his son Edsel was the designer of this beautiful car. And with Edsel being in charge of the Lincoln, a lot of people consider the Model A to be the baby Lincoln, if you will. Now, history records that on April 14th, 1931, Henry Ford with his son Edsel at his side drove off the assembly line in the 20 millionth Ford. Now, as the car was being produced, there were a lot of publicity around this automobile, and you'll see in the assembly line photos that there are a lot of uh, sport coats, obviously suits, around the car. This was a huge deal. The car was specially painted with 20 millionth and the Ford logo not only on the sides, but also on the top. The reason being, Ford was big into aviation by then and wanted to be sure that the car was recognizable not only from the road, but from the air. After the car was completely assembled and all of the local photographs and videos that the Ford Motor Company had taken, the car eventually hit the road and was going to go on a nationwide tour. So within the week that the car was manufactured, it became the central attraction and it was taken to Ford dealerships, state capitals, and landmarks nationwide, along with as many as 20 other 1931 models of various body styles and colors. It was sort of a rolling new car show, if you will, that began on the east and ended way out west. At these individual stops, local dignitaries, celebrities, and dealers would hobnob the press and tons of free publicity was acquired for Ford. Many of these states presented special 20 millionth license plate numbers for the car and a special logbook was brought along for all to sign their names and the car toured across America. So how was Henry Ford able to produce over 20 million vehicles in less than three decades? Well, if you think about it, what he did was he mastered the assembly line 
and produced an affordable car so that he could put the world on wheels. And it's as simple as that. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to give us a like and subscribe. But more than anything else, be blessed.